Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome to your bikini workout series. Today we're going to focus on lots and lots of lunges for legs. So um, I have a just a little two pound weight, so it's up to you if you want to do dumbbells or you can actually go without any weights at all. It's totally cool. Um, all drills are going to be 30 seconds, just keeping it nice and simple. We're going to start at the top of the mat and we're going to go reverse lunge with the right leg only. So your first set, you're going to turn your palms down. So as you step back on the right, the arms go out in front of you, shoulder height, and then you just step back, push off the ball of the back foot, drive the front heel down, and then stand up. So just your basic reverse lunge. I actually like the arms on this one because it's really, really simple, and you're still getting a workout, especially if you have those dumbbells because you have the added weight in the hands. And there's just like zombie status. Just step back, keeping the chest up. Arms go straight out in front. Last five, four, three, two, step back and hold, and then you're just going to start to pulse. You want to bend your right knee a lot, get it stacked underneath the hip, front knee over the ankle, and then you're going to add the arms, open and close. You're teeing straight arms to the side and back to center, keeping core tight, tailbone scoop slightly underneath you, really press through the ball of your back foot, lift your heel high, and press through your left foot to stay centered. Five, four, three, two, last one. Open up wide second, heels are in, toes are out, bend your elbows, you're gonna drop down and then everything presses up together. So we'll be here about 30 seconds. In this position, you wanna be careful that you're excellent, externally rotating from the hip. The knees are gonna track right over the toes. And then you wanna keep your shoulders down, chest stays lifted. It's almost like a super sumo squat, super sumo squat. <laughs> Last five, four, using the back to press, three, two, getting tight at the top, last one. Bring your elbows in, turn your toes, feet parallel. You're gonna go skandasana, just reaching, bending the right knee, reach forward, elbows pull back, and then switch. So you need a nice wide stance for this one. And then modification, just keep it super shallow, or keep your elbows pinned in and just work on the lower body. So this is an option too. You're really opening up the insides of the legs, the hips. Trying to keep the chest up, spine long for five, four, three, two. Last one, you're just gonna release your weights, pivot over your right leg and step back to a high plank. So from here, you're gonna pick up bottom leg, top hand. Almost like you're going into a side plank, but not quite, so you're twisting pulling the knee towards the chest, hand to the shoulder, and then keeping your hips low to come through your plank. So I like to say it's like a gecko, like a little, little lizard guy, just back and forth, pick it up, put it back down. Use the breath, keep the core tight for five, four, three, two, last one. From here, down dog, look forward, just jump or walk forward to have a seat. Take your legs out in front of you, hip width, reach forward, inhale, and then use your exhale breath to slowly roll down onto your backs. Both legs are going to go to table. You're going to scissor your legs open and then we'll circle. Both arms up towards the sky, the ceiling, whatever you have to look at. Inhale. As you exhale, lift the right leg, the left leg goes forward. You're going to circle small and then squeeze the other thighs to bring the legs back to get back to center. Bend your knees, drop back. Exhale, lift. So you want to find your C curve, really pressing your lower back into your mat, hit points towards your sternum. And then you'll notice as the leg circles around, the hips want to just go crazy and rock side to side. So you really have to use your core, keeping the pelvis stable. Last five, four, three, two, Last one, hug your knees in to release, and then just cross at your ankles, roll forward, plant your palms, step back, down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees, roll all the way up. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, and we're gonna go on the other side. So, this time coming to the top of your mat, left leg only, and the palms are gonna face up. So you'll step back on the left, reach the arms forward, shoulder height. Make sure you're getting tight every time you stand up at the top. And then you especially want to get tall every time. 
With the palms facing up, you're going to put a slight bend in your elbows. So you don't want to lock out the arms like so. You want to put a slight bend, big step back. Coordinate stepping back with your forward reach. Standing up, arms come straight down for five, four, three, two. Step back and hold, and then start to pulse. Open and close the arms. Again, just keeping a nice soft bend in the elbows. Palms facing up, shoulders locked down the back. Chest is tall, spine long, core super, super tight. Breathing into it. Press down through your right heel, right foot is gonna ground you. Squeeze your inner thighs for more balance. For five, four, three, two, last one. Open to your wide second. Same action, heels and toes out. This time you're just gonna drop down low, arms stay shoulder height, and you're going for your bicep curl. So if you need to modify, just stand up, take the pressure off the legs. You can keep the arms moving, no big deal. And you wanna keep the arms up in line with the shoulders and just squeeze the bicep to bring the dumbbells in. And then when you're ready, you drop back down, opening up those hips, tailbone scoop down, stay, stay sitting up super tall, almost like you're leaning back against a wall for five, four, three, two. Last one, stand up, squeeze your elbows in, and then turn your toes. So, again, skandash on the reach. Second set, option to keep it the same. So this is your basic version, reaching forward, shoulder height. So this is super important because it's gonna work, work the arms, work the shoulders. And then, more advanced, you're gonna lower all the way down. So there might be more turning of the feet. So you'll notice the pivoting and lifting the, the toes, turning the heel. So this is advanced, you can always stay, stay just higher, keep it easier, keep life simple for three. Right here for two. Last one, release your dumbbells off to the side. Walk over towards your left leg. This time, super fun. So you step back to your high plank. You're gonna go opposite arm as leg reach. You wanna reach right arm forward, left leg back and then lower. And I'm gonna go super slow, because if I do this fast, I'm not really getting the core control. I'm just kind of throwing it, so I wanna just lengthen, and then almost like I'm brushing back. Modification, just lift a leg, right? Keep it easy on yourself. Just try lifting one leg and then the other. You'll get plenty of core out of this, keeping everything tight. And then when you're ready, opposite arm is leg for five. Four, three, two, last one, press back, down dog, look forward, bend your knees, jump or walk, just have a seat, last drill on our backs, we're going to scissor on the other side, so both legs go to tabletop, hands reach up, inhale, exhale, this time the left leg's going to go up, the right leg goes forward, circle, and just reach to center. Release back to your starting position. Use the inhale breath to prepare. Exhale, reach. And then feel free to go super slow. So any Pilates drill, you wanna take your time. You don't wanna race through it. It's more about the breath, the control. So it's not really about how many reps you get in, which is kind of the benefit because it requires so much in the core, so much in the pelvic stability. Last five, four, three, two, we got one more, and then hug your knees in towards your chest, rolling back up to the seat. So hopefully you enjoyed lots of legs today. Um, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.